Hey, welcome back to the Trapper's Art. I'm Blake Amwell from RV Outdoors. I'm out here to show you how today, as part two, how to use the live cage trap. In the last episode, we talked about how to set the live cage trap and information about the live cage trap. In this, we'll talk about how to bait it and where to put it. And so I'm going to start off how to, where to put it so you know how to bait it here in a second. The best place is to place a, a live cage trap is at the end of a tree where the squirrels come down and often nap. Specifically, red oak trees and white oak trees trees that shed acorns and so right here is a tree and they'll come down right here and they'll smell the bait and they'll just walk back up here and they'll eat that and they'll climb over the panel and bam the door closes and so at the end of a tree that's a very good spot to put it another good spot is where acorns are that's a great spot too another place is game trail what is a game trail a game trail is a path that animals have made and so that might be another good place you'll be able to identify a game trail by the grass will be pushed down or trampled over and you can kind of tell that something's been walking through there. And so obviously for squirrels and rabbits, their trail will be much smaller and very narrow. And so those are good locations to put the live cage trap. And as for bait, I have two favorite baits. One you probably have at home, one you probably don't. My favorite personally is squirrel feed. Squirrel feed includes peanuts, sunflower seeds, corn, and whole grain seeds and stuff like that. Squirrels love these things. I throw it out every morning. I see maybe 10 squirrels in the morning in my backyard eating this stuff. Here I have popcorn. You have popcorn. Now popcorn isn't the best compared to this. Is no, popcorn's nothing compared to this. Alright. The only thing you got is popcorn. You don't want to go out to the store and get some. You can use popcorn. Alright. Popcorn. They'll eat it, but it's better than any other bait you probably have. I hope. So I'm going to open that back up. Now, where to put your bait in the live cage trap? Well, what you're not going to want to do, you're not going to want to put the bait on the panel. Why? You don't want to put it right here because if the bait's right there, they'll just look it right off and run back out. All right? You want to put it behind the panel so they'll step on it. So I'm actually going to use my beloved squirrel feet. So what are going to do? Give it just a little bit. Put it in the very back. And there you go. Now if you want, sometimes squirrels will come in here and just stick their hands in there and pull this out. So to prevent that, you're going to want to lure them in through the door. So you're just going to put some right in front of the door and lure them all the way back here to step on your panel and get stuck. And so that's how you bait your trap in the best location. And so those are the main things you got to worry about your live cage trap, where to bait it and where to put it. Other than that, I mean, you'll probably catch one just by doing this. There's a lot more info you can learn, like modifications to your live cage trap, which we'll talk about in the next episode. And so I'm glad to show you this, the live cage trap. Greatest and easiest trap to use. It, I've caught more animals with a live cage trap than probably anything else. And so, it's just so easy. Is it really real trapping to me? It's so easy, it doesn't even feel like trapping to me. But it is trapping. And so, it's a great place to begin and move on. And get better at it and so after this we'll talk about the snare how to use snares but we still have two more episodes to go through about the live cage trap and so live cage trap is great if you haven't bought one yet you can buy one this right here would cost 24 bucks on amazon and so i'd recommend getting that it's expensive but you can use it over and over and over again and it does not rust so i'd recommend getting it again i'm blake allen from rv outdoorsman i'm glad for you to join us here at the trapper's art and thank you for watching this